Have you ever imagined what it would be like to live every day horrified of the way you look? Well, survivors of acid violence have had to adjust to this harsh reality of life. This woman here is nursing fresh wounds at Mulago Hospital after she was attacked by her instrument husband. Dr. Ben Chinji is a specialized surgeon best at the Burns unit of Mulago Hospital. He is also the chairperson of Acid Survivors Foundation, Uganda. Patients with acid injuries had a special kind of experience. They stayed in the hospital longer, their burns were deeper, they spent very, very many months in the hospital, went to theater several times for reconstruction, and a number of them died. Her neck is involved, and she cannot fully do exercise. It's a painful process. We've got to try to get skin all over the 50% of her body. 14 years ago, Florence was attacked by her own husband, who splashed acid in her face, rendering her completely blind. In public places, Shamila receives occasional heckles from bystanders but she is determined to get her life back on track, thanks to the encouragement and support from Acid Survivors Foundation. Information from the government analytical laboratory shows that cases of acid violence are on the increase. People are increasingly looking at acid as a weapon to be used in the resolving of conflicts as compared to maybe using the guns or some other method. Now the 263 we've got 55% uh, of those are women. Innocent children are also entangled in family feuds like 12-year-old Christine. Her siblings and mother did not survive the attack. Acid Survivors Foundation Uganda is working with the communities to raise public awareness ASFU meets medical costs of acid survivors who cannot afford treatment and links survivors to available medical services such as reconstructive facial surgery and corrective eye surgery. ASFU also provides basic welfare support to needy acid survivors and their families. Currently, ASFU is lobbying for law reforms. The findings highlight the need for a specific law restricting acid in the country. Acid is peddled on the Ugandan market for as little as 2,000 shillings a litre. Mohammed and Lawrence are both employed at the Pressure Garment Unit, an income-generating project under ASFU that produces specialized medical garments used for scar management in acid burn and other burn patients. The pressure garment unit employs four acid survivors as technicians, but at the moment they are constrained by funding. Simeon Subuga, the police spokesperson for Kampala Extra, says as a government security agent, Police is charged with enforcing the existing law. But has it worked? ASFU is calling for increased public awareness. Refuse to accept acid violence and to stand up against it whenever it's, it happens. Uh, and then to support the work of the acid survivors in, in donating their time or in donating money. Treatment of one patient alone can cost up to 8 million Uganda shillings. We have so many cases. Uh, we cover the whole country. The cases are really many, but uh, we lack the funds to deal with each and every case. The ball is now in the hands of all Ugandans, especially the lawmakers, to put strict laws on both acid vendors and those using it as a weapon. It is hoped that with such stringent measures in place, Uganda will greatly reduce on the prevalence of acid violence.